Hey, how you doing? It's Mr. Clifford with Key Economic Concept. I'm going to be showing you the key graphs. The most important graph by far in macroeconomics is aggregate demand and aggregate supply. It, that's the basis for everything. In fact, once you learn that, then you realize the rest of the course is just trying to fix the problems that the graph is talking about. So pay attention. Let's talk about aggregate demand and aggregate supply. Aggregate means putting everything together. So this is all the demand and all the supply. Now, if that makes sense, we got price and we got quantity. You already know what supply and demand look like. We're going to change though. Instead of being price, this is going to be price level. And instead of being just regular old quantity, which you could put it, you could put Q, let's call this output. A better way to think of it is GDP real. This is the real GDP for whatever country we're looking at. Remember, we're looking at countries, not markets. So, you already know down sloping demand curve look like this. This is aggregate demand. When the price level is high, when there's a lot of inflation, Right? People aren't going to buy very much. When the price is low, people are going to buy a whole lot more. Done. Same thing with supply. You know what supply curves look like? They're upward sloping. This is aggregate supply. When the price level is low, producers are, eh, I'm not going to produce very much. Price level goes up, hey, I'm going to produce more. I'm going to make more profit. I'm going to produce more. It's going to give you an equilibrium. Yes, equilibrium. This is price level. And this over here is the quantity or the GDP at equilibrium. Done but not done. There's a third graph, something that you need to know about. It's called long run aggregate supply. Now, I'm assuming that this is producing at full employment, right? Our economy is humming along at full employment of resources. So I'm going to put it right down here. This is the quantity Y or the quantity at full employment, right? This is the long run aggregate supply curve. This is what we're going to produce in the long run. Now, that confuses the crud out of people. This is not a demand curve, like the demand for insulin or something like that. This is a supply curve. And what it says, when the price level goes up, the amount of output right, at full employment is going to stay exactly at the same spot. That's what it means. Now, it's time for a bonus round. Pay attention. Students want to know all the time, why the heck does this thing look the way that it does? Well, let's show you some concepts. Let's say demand increase. Right? So aggregate demand increase, because of increase in consumption, now, you're thinking, well, Mr. Clifford, take a look. The price level increase, right? Here's a new price level. Let's call it price level two. And quantity increase, how the heck are we can get back to long run? What do you mean? There's, we're right here. We're not at long run. We're right there. But back up. When demand increases and now we're at a new equilibrium, that's not going to stay that way because now we have inflation. In the long run, the price of resources will increase. And if the price of resource, resources like labor increases, that means the aggregate supply curve is going to shift to the left. It's going to decrease. And that's going to put us aggregate supply right here. So take a look. Here's what happened. We were at point A, point B, and then we ended up at point C. So aggregate demand increased. In the long run, resource costs went up. Labor costs went up because of inflation. And boom, we go back to the long run. That's a concept. Now we're going to do it over again, except now with a recession. Your job right now is to figure out how, if there was a recession, right, if aggregate demand fell, right, aggregate demand now fell here, shift to the left. We were at this point, and now we're right here with a new price level and a new quantity, right? Question is, well, how are we going to get to the long run, right? How is this thing going to show the long run? Price level falls, right? Eventually, wages and resource prices will fall. And if they did, right, in theory, and this is the concept, but given enough time, aggregate supply will increase. With a lower wages, a lower resource cost, producers can produce more. Shifting the curve over, and that puts us at a new point. And I know it looks kind of low, but that's the concept. PL2, this is the new long run equilibrium. So again, just like before, we started at long run, point A, right? And then a decrease in aggregate demand put us at a new point that was the short run, and boom, all of a sudden, we went to the long run. So this curve right here represents the long run aggregate supply. Whatever happens to the price level, eventually we'll get the same amount as output. That's the concept. Until next time.